you guys ready to see in the coffee bar? It's like, you know, pretty simple, straightforward video, but I wanted to show you what we keep on hand. Okay, so starting over on this side first, these are from a friend that I actually met from my Instagram. How sweet. And then um, I love this uh, pitcher vase. It came from a farm girl flowers delivery that I had and I saved it. So pretty. Um, I put it there just for you guys for this video because it looks sweet. <laughs> Otherwise it looks kind of plain over here. Um, I'm going to show you guys over here first. So we keep this little spinny guy. Um, this houses all of our K-cups. I of course faced it this way so it look all full and pretty. <laughs> um, but the Bulletproof brand we really love. Um, they screen all of their, so they farm and then test all of their beans for toxins. Um, coffee can have a lot of mold in it so and other things um, but mainly mold is kind of a big one um so anyways love this brand just really good quality this is the french kick one but we get the medium roast a lot any from them is really good um i usually have this full of just like plain collagen peptides like the bulk ones that come in like the big vital proteins canister or whatever but i was out of it um so i decided to use up these collagen packets they came from smoothie box i used to do their smoothies all the time and i haven't had those in a long time so i'm just using up the extra packets that i did have um stevia whoopsies stevia I will use sometimes in my coffee, the organic one. I really like the liquid drops. That's my go-to. I just like the flavor. I feel like just tastes like the most normal, no weird aftertaste. Um, this squeezable ghee we found recently from Vital Farms, it's kind of a game changer if you do ghee in your coffee. Um, you literally just open it up, squeeze right in. It's pretty cool. It comes right out super easy. But we also have the regular ghee in here too. Um, my husband, he's very into ghee in his coffee. I go back and forth with it. Sometimes I'm totally into it. And then right now I'm just doing heavy cream and that's it. So um, this is another fun mix in. This Perfect Keto brand MCT oil powder. It's very sweet though. It has stevia in it. It's very sweet, um, but it's kind of a cool, something different to add to your coffee for some healthy fats. Um, love these bone broth proteins. I use them in smoothies, but I also will add to coffee sometimes. Or even if you mix the chocolate one with, let me grab one. If you mix it with um, um, warmed milk, it tastes just like hot chocolate. The ingredients are pretty sweet. There's like hardly any, sweet as in like awesome. <laughs> um, there's hardly any carbs in there. It's a chicken bone broth protein. So yeah, pretty cool. Chocolate flavor, natural flavors. There are a couple of gums in there if you're sensitive to that, but then the sweeteners are stevia and lo lohan wo. <laughs> Is that how you say it? Um, these are fun for on the go bulletproof brand it is just like a blend of fats that you can mix into your coffee um so when dathan was at a desk more often he would keep that in his desk drawer um and then up here i've got some monk fruit packets i like to take those for on the go like just stick them in my purse or my diaper backpack and then this is a collection of my grandma's like vintage mugs i just like totally associate them with her she was a big coffee drinker they're so pretty just old school mugs. I will always keep them forever. I'm like an anti hoarder, but I'll never get rid of those. Um, this side, we've got our mugs. I am obsessed with this Pottery Barn mug. We recently sized up to this one. We did have just like a standard size, like cafe style mug. Um, and Dathan would use those. And then I had my separate mugs because it bugged me that I always felt like I was going to spill in those smaller ones. So these latte size ones are awesome because you can just fit a normal size coffee, add your milk or cream or whatever to it and you can use the frother and not feel like it's gonna go everywhere. Also, when the coffee brews out, it doesn't like splash, you know? So I really like these tall ones. You can see like next to my hand, like it's a pretty hefty size. Um, so we got that set from Pottery Barn. I will link to them. And then I just have like a couple miscellaneous mugs that look pretty for pictures or I'll use them for my tea um, or something like that. I think they're both from like home goods. Um, the Yeti mug, sometimes I'll use that around the house, but I don't like that I can't reheat my coffee in that. Like I do use the microwave sometimes. I like to be able to reheat my coffee every once in a while. And if I have it in that, it does eventually get cold and I can't reheat it. So whatever, first world problems. We have a set of three of these Contigo mugs. That's what Dathan takes on the go for work. He's got one right now. Um, and then we have a French press. We went through a phase with that. I'd love to get back into it eventually. And then this is our old milk frother. It's by Nespresso. It's a really good one, um, but that brings me to our coffee machine. Um, I don't need that one anymore, so I keep it on hand just in, just in case. I could probably get rid of it, but um, we, we what's the word, upgraded to this Keurig K-Cafe when our last Keurig pooped out on us, and I really love it. Um, I love the Keurig. 
it's just i feel like it's convenient i like the coffee i know a lot of people love the nespresso and i feel like the coffee that comes out of it it's totally awesome i agree but the last I checked, I don't think they have any organic options or at least there's just not as many options in general. I know there's like flavors and different like roasts and stuff like that. But I just feel like with the Keurig, there's more op options when it comes to like organic. And that's so important to me with coffee um, is to have something that's organic because there could be a lot of pesticides and crap in coffee. So anyways, that's just my two cents and why I love the Keurig. But I've always been a Keurig fan. Um, so this one is awesome. This bottom guy slides out if you're trying to fit like a real tall travel mug in there. This is a built-in coffee frother and it's stainless steel. So it comes right out. You put your coffee in, or I mean not your coffee, you put your milk right in there. Nut pods froths beautifully in here. If you do just like plain coconut or almond, it's okay, but nut pods, awesome. You put it right in, you select what type of foam you want so I usually do latte you can do a cold foam if you want and then um, it foams it so well it like doubles the size of whatever milk you're using especially the nut pods I'll do a quick rundown down here um, this is old liner that the previous owners had done so eventually I'll redo that but um, I've just got almond milk I keep that on hand mostly for smoothies um, and then Obviously we're nut pods obsessed. I'm on a heavy cream kick right now, but Dathan's still into the nut pods, so he'll use that. Um, I've got backups of our Bulletproof K-Cups. That's the collagen peptide packets that I had. Um, and then I've got a couple other pods down here. So these are the decaf K-Cups that I really like. I was doing all decaf or just none when I was um, pregnant. But I like that this one, it is decaffeinated with a natural water method. I always talk about that, how it's like, you want organic for the beans, but then you want the natural water method because otherwise decaf is made by stripping the beans with like a chemical bath, basically, unless it's the water version. The water version, it takes longer. So of course it's not as convenient and that's why you don't find as much. Okay, so this, um, these are K-Cups from the brand Four Sigmatic. They do a mushroom coffee. Um, so I like to have this if I'm like going for an afternoon coffee and I probably don't need any more caffeine in my system. I like that, it's a good coffee alternative. Um, and then over here, I've got any like mix-in kind of stuff and then teas. And then down here, I keep all of our formula. So we've always got a lot of formula on hand for the baby. Um, over here, I've got so many things of collagen, collagen matcha. Um, down there is just a plain matcha. The Natural Calm is like a magnesium supplement drink. Um, it's good for like helping you get to sleep at night. Um, kind of calming any like nighttime nerves or anxiety. Lately, I've been more into CBD for all of that because that started bugging my, my stomach when I was pregnant. Um, maca, I, it has almost a caramely flavor and it's a good like adaptogen. I like adding that to my coffee sometimes or my smoothies. I haven't tried that peak green tea yet. I'll have to try it. Um, some more backup teas. And then this little tea organizer is really cool. Just keeps everything sorted in there. Some of my favorite teas. Again, I'm kind of like just not on a tea kick right now, but I go through phases. And then down here we've got the, look, some of this stuff just like needs help. It's like peeling. Um, I've got the backup formula. So that's down here. It's not so fancy down here, but just storage. I'm grateful for all the space. So that's it. I hope it was kind of fun. Check out our little coffee buyer area. I love having this. Um, I feel like we could have used it for a lot of different things. Um, almost like a little mini butler's pantry kind of thing because this is our kitchen over here. Um, and then the dining room is in there, but I liked it as just like a coffee bar. I love my drinks, love my coffee. So it's been fun to have this little space and just kind of keep all of our favorite coffee mixins there. And then the fridge is right here so I can grab my cream really easy too. So hope this was fun, a little sneak peek around the house.